guys welcome back to my channel so I am super excited because I'm actually filming on a new camera so hopefully this is working hopefully this sounds okay and hopefully the quality of this video should actually be um, quite a bit better the other camera that I have been filming on for the last like year and a half two years um, it's a great camera there's nothing wrong with it it just I think it's better for like actually taking photos this is more like where I can actually film videos on it today's video is going to be I decided the third and final best of beauty 2017 and I was going to include like, a lip video but those just like aren't my all-time favorite things and to be quite honest I think most of the things I would have included probably would have been lip gloss so today we are going to be doing my top favorite eyeshadows uh eyeliners things like that so if you have not already subscribed to my youtube channel there is a red subscribe button down below you can just click it that way you are subscribed to my channel and you will be notified when i post any future videos so let's go ahead and get started with the 2017 best of beauty eye products i think i'll start with the boring stuff first because honestly, none of this should really be a shock if you've seen any of my videos before. So let's start with the eyebrows. If you've seen literally any of my videos, the only eye product or eyebrow products that I have used for <laughs> what feels like two or three years at this point um, is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, pe the pencil, and then the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, which is basically like a brow mascara to set everything in place and kind of make everything look more full. This is in the shade Brunette. I'm literally almost out of this one too. Like, there's barely anything left. I need to get a new one. And the Plumper actually, uh... I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here and that I've just been using air for the last like three months I'm just too lazy to go get a new one but these are like my forever favorite brow product products they're so affordable they're drugstore you go through brow products so quickly so like what's the point in spending a lot of money you know when you constantly have to be purchasing new ones over and over and over again so normally I would just stick with drugstore mascara. I, um, was it called? The Lash Sensational, is it Maybelline? Lash Sensational is a really, really good one. Um, however, I just, the more I thought about it, this one from MAC, and I honestly, what is this even called? It's Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash, and it looks like this. It has a bunch of like threes, no. It has MAC written all over it. I don't really know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. The wand looks like this. Pretty thick and chubby. But I just feel like it makes my eyelashes look so long. I know it's expensive, but I don't wear fake eyelashes. So for me to spend a little bit more money on a mascara that really makes my eyelashes kind of look fake, it's, it's worth it to me. Um, so if you haven't tried this out again, this is the 3d black lash This one is incredible. It just it adds like an inch to your eyelashes I swear and it makes them look so thick and so full and beautiful. I have just a couple of favorite Eyeliners this one is from Colourpop. It's this kind of gold color and actually I can't even believe that I have this much left to be quite honest, but I really only use this in my lower uh, waterline and this is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. And oh, I broke it. No. No. Well, that is what this one looks like. It's just this beautiful kind of like bronzy copper gold shade. And I don't typically like putting Anything dark in my lower waterline, I have the most watery eyes. Anything I put down there never stays. So I never want to put like black or brown. And I don't really enjoy putting like skin tone shades down there. I just feel like it looks weird even though I'm wearing it today, but like, we won't talk about it. Um, 
but I think if you put something like this with just where it's like it's not too crazy it's not like it's like a, a lime green or anything but this just adds just so much to a look and it's so subtle so if you haven't put a kind of like semi-metallic neutral color in your lower waterline I highly recommend it it looks amazing and these are so affordable these ColourPop liners and they don't disappear like they last all day long which is incredible like I said because I have the most watery eyes ever they're obnoxious but my all-time like my most favorite eyeliner ever <laughs> This is really embarrassing to be quite honest, but this is from Sephora. Um, it's the uh, Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof. Okay, let me just show you. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is the uh, black one. This one's called Black Lace. It's a matte black uh, waterproof eyeliner. This is what this should look like. <laughs> and this is my brown one. This is in tiramisu. Look how much I've used of this thing. Like it's so tiny and pathetic. There's like, the cat makes it look bigger. There's like nothing left of this. I really should just get a new one, but I'm like, it reminds me of those little pencils or like you would see those kids in grade school where like their pencil was this big, but they were just were not gonna give it up. <laughs> that's That's what this one reminds me of right now. And I'm not gonna give it up. I'm gonna use it until there is nothing left. And these are so cheap. They're like 10 bucks or something. And I swear to God, they last forever. I could wash my face with oil, eye makeup remover, whatever. And there will still be this eyeliner on my eye for like three days. Now I'm going to move into my favorite eyeshadow palettes of the whole year. And I think you'll see a trend. I'm sure this is really no surprise, um, but the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, this is definitely a favorite of mine. I think a lot of people consider this to be their favorites. If you have not seen what this one looks like, this is the inside, and I'm so happy that this camera is actually showing what these colors really look like. Um, I, my favorites are definitely these first four. This one right here, um, I love this color. It's like a rich, almost like a purple undertone brown, but it's not like super, super intense or anything like that. And I love this color right here for like an all over lid shade. It's just soft and beautiful and it's not too intense. Um, now, it doesn't really look like I used this palette all that much, but I promise I did, and I'm actually uh, wearing a lot of it today. But the thing is, is that I didn't wear makeup for a lot of the year, for one, because of you know just everything that happened medically. Um, and also, this is my second palette of this one so that's why if it doesn't look like I've used it if you saw my video um, that Jaclyn Hill sent me one that she had like autographed so I gave my other one away the one that I had been using before this so I haven't used this one as much but I still used it a lot I just think that the colors in here just you can make any look I mean you have brights you have neutrals so many neutrals I just got lipstick on my face. These blend really well. I actually really don't enjoy Morphe eyeshadows that much, but this formulation is very blendable. I've used this not only on myself, I've used this on a bunch of different people just kind of playing around and it works well on everyone that I've tried it. So I love this. This next palette, I think, is the most expensive palette that I own, but I was so excited when I found this. Doug and I were in Las Vegas. I was laying by the pool, and I just happened to be on the Sephora app, because who doesn't shop, you know, shop online while you're laying by the pool? And um, I was able to find this eyeshadow palette at a store 
like not too far from where we were staying. So I was like, Doug, get dressed. We're gonna go get this right now. And this is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Basically every warm eyeshadow lover's dream. I love this palette. I am also wearing some of this on my eyes today. And I am standing up in a wedding this weekend and I will be using uh, a good chunk of this eyeshadow palette for how I'm gonna do my makeup that day. I think my most favorite shade in this whole palette though, what is this one called? It's called Mandarin. I've just never seen a shade like this before. It's like orange and yellow and gold all mixed together. It's so, so pretty. I just can't handle it. I want my whole body to be covered in this. And I know that's excessive and dramatic, but it's beautiful. These blend so well, they're so pigmented. My God, a little goes such a long way. I had mentioned in another video that ColourPop just like blew my mind this year. They just did such a fantastic job. So I do have several ColourPop palettes here. I actually have, I think I have one more in a drawer in my room, um, but these were just like, for sure, like my favorites. So um, I'll go from like, the first one I got was this one, the Femme Rosa palette, which is a, uh, I don't know how you say it, Karuchi? I think that's how you say it. Uh, it was a collaboration. And so this is a very like purple pink toned palette. This, I would say, is my least favorite, but this was the first one that I got. I was just so interested in this palette. It just, the packaging is beautiful. I think they did say, though, that um, they just had their, like, final restock of this palette, so I don't think you can get this one anymore, but ColourPop literally has, like, 300 eyeshadows, so I'm sure you could, you know, kind of pick and create your own colors from this, but I just, this is a really nice purple pinky toned palette. Here's some of the uh, like glittery shimmer shades. They're just so so nice and they're not overpowering so you can kind of like play with color without looking like a crazy person, you know? Like if you wanna wear a little something different to work one day. The next one is the Element of Surprise palette. This one is I would say exactly what the title says. It is very surprising. Honestly, I feel like when you see the colors in the pan and then when you apply them, they don't they don't look like this. I don't know how to explain it. So in the pan, it looks gold, maybe like slightly, I don't even know, just it looks gold to me. But when you swatch it, it turns like red and pink and almost like a little bit of blue. It's just a, it's just so unique. Like these colors are so interesting because they shift so many different ways and it's just surprising. This color right here is this one right here, which is like red, gold, brown. And in the pan, it just looks nothing like that. I mean, at least I don't think so, but it's just, this palette is just so unique because like I said, nothing goes on the eye the way it looks in the pan. Like everything is so unique and different when you put it on, but then they blend so well, they're pigmented. You can just create such unique looks. I know everyone um, was really drawn to this like bright pink, which is so pretty. This one is also a very, I feel like unique palette. This one is the All I See Is Magic palette like this. This one is a bit bigger compared to the other ones, if you can see. I just think these colors are like rich and jewel toned and luxurious. Like, oh my God, look at this green. I mean, hello. Oh, so beautiful. I had this purple, like I don't really know what you wanna call it. It's like a purple brown. I was wearing this in, uh, my last two videos and or yeah, I think my last two videos 
it didn't really show up again because like that camera that I had kind of it kind of blurs everything out so it doesn't look um, super crisp or anything but I was wearing that that purple color in my last video I'm just I'm just so impressed with ColourPop like I can't stop buying ColourPop products these colors are just so beautiful especially this um, this shade right here which is called teacup I just think it's like the most stunning crease color I mean even just wearing this by itself all over the lid oh gosh you guys if you haven't tried ColourPop pressed shadows please please just go try them please but my all-time like hands down this I think is my most favorite palette of the entire year and um I know it's kind of like a really boring I it's it's boring looking compared to you know like these bright colors from the other palettes but this is the I think I love you palette so it looks like this love the packaging and this is what the inside looks like so it's a very neutral very neutral however um this cream color shade right here I am like I've made such a deep groove I've almost hit pan uh, I love this color these two brown shades right here I use these literally like every single day and then for my brow bone and like inner corner highlights this kind of color this this color kind of looks messed up because I mix the two like white shades together but um, I use this color right here to highlight the inner corner but you guys, I want this next shade. I want like 10 pans of this because I've made the official decision that this is my all time, hands down all time, most favorite eyelid shade in the entire world. This one is called Screw It. It's this one right here. It is so pretty. I am wearing it today on my eyelid if it shows up I don't really know <laughs> but I have put such a dent in this pan look at this color look at this color oh my god it is stunning it's so pretty it's more like it's like a gold champagne like rose gold gold champagne but like oh. It's just so creamy and pigmented and beautiful and it lasts all day long like the the pigmentation doesn't go away if you get any of these palettes this is the one I recommend personally just because I use it so often so again that was the I think I love you palette <laughs> and I do love you I don't think I, I know anyway now that I've had my little emotional situation here um oh god my boob hasn't been like hanging out this whole time i just have eyeshadow everywhere and i probably have it like all over my clothes thank you so much for watching if there is anything else that you would like to see me film please leave it in the comments below let me know what were your favorite eyeshadow palettes of the year or if there are any eye products that i should check out myself and i think that's all i got for this one so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye